Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today I'm taking a look at the Spinnaker Fluce Automatic SP-5055-05. So before I get into this review, I'd like to mention that this review is sponsored by LuxuryBazaar.com. LuxuryBazaar.com is one of the foremost online luxury watch dealers. They specialize in new watches, jewelry, and even pre-owned watches. Um, they sell watches from almost every luxury watch brand, from Alain Gousson to Rolex. Please go see the link in the description to learn more about LuxuryBazaar.com. Okay, let's get back to the review. So the Spinnaker Fluce Automatic is another part of Spinnaker's vintage watch collection, um, which is where they kind of bring back, they kind of make watches that have a bit of more of a vintage look to them or more of just really a classical, I guess, design to them. So first off, I'm going to go over the case of this timepiece. So the case of this watch is going to be a 43 millimeter stainless steel case. You can see it has almost all brushed edges. However, there is polishing on the tops of the lugs to give a little bit of a variety. And then you have this bezel with a kind of rubber insert. So this watch, um, I'd say the case finishing on it is definitely up to par with any of the other watches at this price point, which just so you know is this watch comes at a price of $285. So I think say it's definitely up to the say SKX 007 and those kind of watches around this price point and the Oris Makos. Uh, you're really not l letting anything, there really isn't any problems with the finishing at all, I would say. And then so now let's go to the dial on the bezel. So first this bezel is a fully loomed bezel and it does have a rubberized insert. Uh, so that gives you a clear look and allows the bezel to be fully loomed. Um, however, one thing I don't know is how well this would hold up to getting scuffed and things. Um, it does feel like if you hit it on me, if like you maybe scuffed it on some rocks or some metal somewhere, it might would leave marks. I'm not exactly sure how big of a problem this would be in day-to-day -day life, um, but I'm guessing if you're really throwing this watch around a lot uh, versus just kind of a daily wear scenario, if you, you are a lot harder on it, I'm guessing that you will probably start to get marks on this rubber. Now, again, if you're just wearing this daily wear uh, to work and back, it's not really going to be a problem, I would say, because you're not really going to be throwing your watch around that much. So just take that for what it is. So now let's go on to the dial. So the dial, as you can see, so this is actually a blue dial. It's not really getting picked up in this light as much. I don't know if you can see it there, but it actually it's kind of a beautiful deep blue dial, and you can see it is textured. And I think that is very nicely done. So you do have patina loom, uh, where it's a faux patina on there. However, this faux patina, it's not super dark. It's it's very, it's more subtle, and I'd say it really kind of matches the color palette of the dial. I'm not a huge fan of faux patina usually, except this watch I think does it better than a lot of other watches do. Now, would I prefer probably just white patina? Yes, as I usually do on almost every other watch, but I don't think that this one is bad. And if you like faux patina, I'm sure you're going to like the shade of this loom. Now, also, you do, I love the little red accent for the depth rating. So, the depth rating is 500 feet or 150 meters. Now, this watch does have a screw-down crown, so you could actually dive with this. It's not the 200 meters that people say really a professional diver is at, um, but being no one's really going to be diving below 150 meters, or most people, I guess, won't. If you're just a recreational diver, this really this watch should be just fine for you. It's not going to be an issue. Um, 150 meters is, there's a lot of room there as well as extra depth that you won't have to worry about. And being it does have the screw down crown, you should be good. So actually, let me demonstrate the bezel action. I didn't go over that before. So it's a 120 click bezel. The lockup is fantastic. I would say this bezel definitely matches up with like an SKX 007 or Orient Mako. It is a very well done, uh, loud audible click. However, it still feels very smooth when you turn it. And I think they did a great job with the click on that bezel. So now let's talk movement. So the movement is this is going to be a Seiko NH35, which is going to be fairly similar to the movement that's in the SKX007. And it's really going to be a workhorse movement. I mean, it's not going to have really any special finishing on it at all, as you can tell, but it's going to get the job done and it's going to last you a very long time and it will keep good enough time. Now, it's not going to be chronometer grade, but it will definitely be good for your day to day, um, I guess, timekeeping needs. Uh, but again, yeah, so the finishing on it's not great. You're not going to really get finishing on movements at this price point yet. I mean, maybe you'll find some, but it will still be quite rare. And this movement, though, it's going to serve you very nicely. If anything happens to it, it'll be very easy to replace, which is another plus. Um, and again, yeah, no problems with the movement there. It's a great movement for watches at this price point. 
So the strap on this watch is a um, leather strap. It's kind of a, it's a suede leather strap. You can feel it. And they say it's water resistant leather. So that means you probably could get this strap wet, which I mean, I don't know if you know about leather, but leather usually you can't get wet. Now, how wet you can get it, I'm not sure. I mean, I definitely wouldn't recommend taking it into really salt water just because at least the, because even if the water isn't affecting it, but the salt can dry on it and mark it with kind of salt lines. Um, and so I wouldn't really recommend this in salt water, definitely just because it's suede and I can almost guarantee that it will show some of the salt, even if it is water resistant. But if you're going in fresh water, I mean, maybe if, you can just do a quick swim in the pool or so, but I probably would guess again for prolonged periods in water, I would not recommend this. And it'd be super easy to change it to a NATO strap or something. So it's not a big deal at all. So now let's do a wrist shot. So on the wrist, this watch being 43 millimeters, it fits my wrist quite well. So I have about a seven and seven and a quarter inch wrist. So take that for reference, but for a dive watch, that's pretty good size. I mean, I generally like to see it about 40, especially since this is supposed to be part of the vintage collection. I think a 40 would have been best. However, I have no problem with the 43. It's going to feel like it's going to fit most people. And again, you shouldn't have a huge problem unless you have a very small wrist. Um, but other than that, it should really fit most people. And also the thickness, I think, is great. There's on a lot of cheaper watches, they tend to get quite thick. This one stays very thin, so it shouldn't matter if you wear cuffed shirts frequently as well. So overall, this watch comes in again at a price of $285, and I feel like that's very well priced. Um, I think that this watch will really fill almost everyone's needs when it comes to just having a watch to keep the dime, and even a dive watch. I think this is definitely going to be a good job. As I mean, most people that dive, they're not diving every single day as their job. They're driving fairly infrequently as kind of recreational divers, and I think if that's you, this will serve your diving needs just fine. You shouldn't have a problem with it. Um, so I'd like to give another thank you to luxurybazaar.com for sponsoring this video. There's a link in the description. Please go check it out and see their inventory on their website. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Uh -huh.